Hello, today I'm gonna hold the camera because I have an inappropriate shirt on. Um, <laughs> anyway, I am using watercolor crayons. What the heck are those? I don't know, this is my first time using them and it's in the future, so I already know how this goes. But, stay tuned, I guess. So, I'm pretty sure I got these in a powerful packs box um, and I didn't use them um, <laughs> until now, which I think if they're like, over two years old i think they got i got them in like 2017 maybe no it had to have been like 2019 which i know is a difference of two years but like 2019 um anyway so i started off by just swatching it in my sketchbook and i didn't like that it smeared so at first i did not want to use it in my sketchbook i was like mm, i don't want to get it everywhere because i didn't know if it would be like oil pastels and just like get everywhere like i said um but anyway so i took this watercolor paper which sounds like a good idea right but it was not it was cold press which i should have done hot press because see how textured it is it's very hard to just kind of get rid of that texture and it makes it kind of difficult to work through it's kind of a pain and i know that i'm being nitpicky here but if you're gonna use these, use cold press because, no, use hot press because cold press is too textured and it kind of makes it harder to blend and get like a smooth coat. So anyway, I did this little flower. I think, I think this is a lily, but I forgot what it was, but I'm 92% sure that it's a lily. Um, so I found one with really pretty colors and I had a very limited set of colors and I didn't have anything to shade besides that blue color which um funny story i found black about a week later <laughs> after doing this i found it in a random bin and i didn't know it existed i didn't know i had it so i did have black i could have shaded and i wanted this to have a black background but i didn't know that i had it until i was already done so anyway you can see that it activates so nicely look how cool and pretty that is and they were so smooth it was like i don't even know how to explain it it's like softer than oil pastels they just they don't they're not crumbly it's like it's like that stick concealer that you put on your face that's what it feels like it's so just soft and fun to like rub on the page which sounds so weird and then this i kind of wish i would have left the flower around here but i wanted to add more value more depth and it just made it muddy and kind of gross see that yeah it it doesn't look good so i fixed it a little bit because it was looking a little bit funky and i tried to just add more color add more value and then i did a yellow background because like I said, I wanted black, but I didn't have black. And then I did pink because I didn't like the yellow and I was doing pink over it. And then I kind of blended it all together. And there's all my little wispy hairs because I have a million baby hairs because my daughter pulled them all out. Um, and then I added the little, like the little, uh, I think it's called a stamen of a flower. But I'm probably completely wrong or saying it completely wrong. Um, yeah, and then I did the little bulbs, which are cute, and then I sliced off the edges because I did not want a border, and I only bordered three sections instead of four. So I thought I was done, but then I was like, I don't like this. So I changed it to pink, all pink, and I hated that also. <laughs> so here's the finished piece before I changed the background five times. So here's the pink wasn't a fan, changed it to blue, which I don't even know if I like better. I think I don't, I don't know. Um, they all have things wrong with it. So I just, I wanted black, which now that it's dry, I might go back and just put black because I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it. And yeah, so here's the finished piece. I'm not a fan of the blue, but I wasn't a fan of the yellow either. Um, but don't leave yet. There's a reason there's three minutes left in this video, and that's because I go in my sketchbook because I was so dissatisfied with this piece. <sighs> I mean, it's not horrible, but I've had better. I know I can do better. 
So on the left, you see the pre-sketches for my drawing, or my other, my big piece. Um, you can see like the planning for it and different colors I was trying to figure out. But yeah, I don't know. I just, eh. So these in my sketchbook, which is smoother, it has a little bit of grip, a little bit of texture, but it's way smoother than watercolor paper. Oh my gosh, it was so smooth and creamy. I loved every second of just putting color down. And I think because of that, I got slightly carried away with just putting colors down because it was so smooth and so satisfying. It felt like putting butter on a hot pan. Like if you're about to make eggs and then you put butter on a hot pan, that's what it feels like. It's so nice. Um, I don't know how else to explain it, but it made me so happy. So I started drawing these little flowers. My grandma used to have them in her garden, but I forgot what they're called. So that's why I chose these. And I was like, you know, that kind of matches the colors that I have. Cause I had all like bright in your face colors. I didn't have a muted color palette, which lately I've been liking muted color palettes. So this wasn't the easiest, but look how nice they just melt. They are literally, it's painting with butter. It's colored butter. I love it. So yeah, I just did some little sketchbook doodles to finish it off because I was so unhappy with my big piece that actually took a really long time that I was like, you know what? I can't end off using this supply like this. I have to find a better way to use this supply, something that I'm more happy with. So these were quick little cute doodles and they're nothing special. There's no like, it's not like a finished piece or anything, but it was really fun doing it. It made me, it made me actually like the art supply because at first I just did not, but it was strictly because of the paper I was using. Like, look at how soft and creamy and smooth that is. I didn't even, uh, I didn't have to use water. The other one, I had to use water because it didn't get into the little grooves. But look at the shading and the pomegranate. I love it. So anyway, yeah, I ended up having fun with this product later. This, it's a throwaway sketch. It ended up coming out so bad because it was a little bit too small. And I didn't feel like going crazy and trying to fix it. But yeah, here's a sketchbook page, which I like so much better, even though it's messy. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a nice day. Goodbye.